In this video, we are going to talk about what is Web 1, Web 2, Web 3, history of internet, so before starting this video, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. The Web 1, Web 2, and Web 3 internet concepts are used to classify the different operations that characterize the web at different points in time since their invention by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. According to Tim, the evolution of the web has since gone through the stages of read-only, read and write, read, write, and execute. As developers, being in the know about tech trends is one way to really remain relevant in the tech space. In this video, we'll explore these web trends and the technologies that characterize them. It took years of great research, starting from the early 1990s, for scientists to finally come up with a global network after many attempts in 1983. With this new invention came another challenge of how resources in this particular network could be shared. Many solutions came, but in 1989 to 1990, Tim Berners-Lee launched what would be the most acceptable solution, the World Wide Web WWW. The World Wide Web is an internet information system that enables users to share resources using URLs linked with hyperlinks to form what is called a website on the internet. Through its lifespan so far, the internet has seen paradigm shifts that have improved it. Here's the description of what is Web 1, Web 2, Web 3, history of internet, let's start. Web 3.0 it refers to the evolution of web utilization and interaction which includes altering the web into a database, with the integration of DLT, Distributed Ledger Technology Blockchain is an example, and that data can help to make smart contracts based on the needs of the individual. It enables the upgradation of the backend of the web, after a long time of focusing on the front-end, Web 2.0 has mainly been about Ajax, tagging, and other front-end user experience innovation. Web 3.0 is a term that is used to describe many evolutions of web usage and interaction among several paths. In this, data isn't owned but instead shared but still be, where services show different views for the same web slash the same data. The Semantic Web 3.0 promises to establish the world's information in a more reasonable way than Google can ever attain with its existing engine schema. This is particularly true from the perspective of machine conception as opposed to human understanding. The semantic web necessitates the use of a declarative ontological language like OWL to produce domain-specific ontologies that machines can use to reason about information and make new conclusions, not simply match keywords. Web 2.0 2004 when the word Web 2.0 became famous due to the first Web 2.0 conference, later known as the Web 2.0 Summit, held by Tim O'Reilly and Dale Doherty, the term was coined by Darcy DiNucci in 1999. Web 2.0 refers to worldwide websites which highlight user-generated content, usability, and interoperability for end-users. Web 2.0 is also called the Participative Social Web. It does not refer to a modification to any technical specification, but to modifying the way web pages are designed and used. The transition is beneficial but it does not seem that when the changes occur. Interaction and collaboration with each other are allowed by Web 2.0 in a social media dialogue as the creator of user-generated content in a virtual community. Web 2.0 is an enhanced version of Web 1.0. The web browser technologies are used in Web 2.0 development and it includes Ajax and JavaScript frameworks. Recently, Ajax and JavaScript frameworks have become a very popular means of creating Web 2.0 sites. Five major features of Web 2.0, free sorting of information, permits users to retrieve and classify the information collectively. Web 1.0 Web 1.0 refers to the first stage of the World Wide Web evolution. Earlier, there were only a few content creators in Web 1.0 with a huge majority of users who are consumers of content. Personal web pages were common, consisting mainly of static pages hosted on ISP-run web servers or free web hosting services. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.